Hey, what's up, universe? Ebony here from the TechnologyTalks.com. Today is September 2nd, 2010, and this is your Thursday edition of the Technology Talks. <laughs> So the first thing I want to talk about is the Apple event. The new iPods were announced, and Apple TV was announced, and also iTunes 10 was announced and released later that day. The first iPod that was announced was the iPod Shuffle. I see more as a downgrade than upgrade than anything. It reminds me a lot of the iPod Shuffle second generation, but I can see why they changed from the third generation design. It's a lot harder to use once you actually use it. The iPod Shuffle fourth generation comes in only a 2 gigabyte version for $49 and will be available next week. Next one was the iPod Nano. Out of all the iPods, I believe this is the one that got the best upgrade out of them all. The iPod Nano has been reamped and is a lot smaller and more of a iPod shuffle design, but it has a 1.5 inch multi-touch screen which looks really nice. It comes in the 8 gigabyte version and also a 16 gigabyte version. You can pick up the 8 gigabyte version for 149 and the 16 gigabyte for 179. This iPod will also be available next week. All the iPods will be available next week. This one looks really nice. I love the theme onto it. There's no uh, word about if you can add themes or a custom background to it or if you can um, go into the app store on it if there is an app store for it but only little details was really released about it but we'll have to wait and see a lot of people are thinking that if you can go in the app store you can jailbreak it because most likely you will be able to jailbreak it you can no longer watch videos on it because how small the screen is and you wouldn't want to watch a video on it but it's very nice and very portable i definitely recommend for anyone who's looking for a small ipod don't want to spend that much money on them. the next ipod is the ipod touch this iPod has been completely reamped, well somewhat, but it's more of an iPhone than anything now. The new iPod Touch comes with a back and front facing camera, so you can do FaceTime and also record HD videos. And with the new 4.2 update coming out in November, you'll be able to upload your HD videos to your video sharing, con your, to video sharing content websites. The iPod Touch does have the retina display and looks completely nice. The back is more flat than anything, but as you go to the top of the device, it does have a curve to it. The back is chromed, sadly, like the previous versions, which a lot of people dislike because it's easy to scratch and no one likes fingerprints. So why would you get us the back? That is a fring fingerprint magnet than any. Apple TV was also announced and it looks nice. It's a lot smaller. Reminds me a lot of a hockey puck. This Apple TV won't allow you to do anything but stream content. With AirPlay, you can stream content from your iPod, iPhone, iPad, or even a computer, which worked really nice and I can see a lot of people buying netbooks just to use Apple TV on it, with it. Apple TV also has an HDMI port for those who want it. Apple also got Fox and ABC to agree to sell their episodes for 99 cents each, which is really nice. Amazon got the same thing earlier yesterday, well, later yesterday. So it's not that big of a thing anymore now that Amazon has it too. And I can see a lot of other companies getting the same deal as the week goes on. Next big release was iTunes 10. iTunes 10 is already available for download for free for Windows and Mac. And I have to say it's actually a pretty nice update. The new icon for it looks really nice. Now this Apple TV comes with their new social network Ping. Not Ping Chat but just Ping which is quite weird. But it's more of a music social network than anything. They say it's more of a Facebook and Twitter combined. But I see more as a MySpace and Twitter. Because Facebook is about friends and groups and pages. Where MySpace is more of just music. So that's why I say MySpace. But it's actually a pretty nice thing. You can invite your friends on Facebook or via email. The IFA was also today. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what all was released, but the one thing that really caught my eye was the Samsung Galaxy tablet. It looks completely nice. The rumors were true. The leaked pictures look exactly like the real thing. 
I have to say they did an awesome, a complete awesome job on it. Now, I found this out from Engadget earlier today because the event was quite early. It says the post was made at 4 a.m. It does have Bluetooth 3.0, which is the newest Bluetooth that's already out, but a lot of devices are still using Bluetooth 2.4, which is quite weird. I'm not exactly sure why they're not upgrading the Bluetooth, even though it's not that big. It does have Google Navigation, and the pictures of it look amazing. It has a 3 megapixel camera on it, which is great for social networks, power blogging, or anything like that. Uploading and posting videos or pictures to Facebook or Twitter. You also have a Reader's Hub, so it is an ebook also, which is very nice. And it will browse with Flash 10.1. Flash is one of the newest things that I have, to, well, it's one of the things I say shouldn't be taken away. It also does have a web browser in it, so... If anyone are, if anyone's a big browser user, I definitely would recommend the Samsung Galaxy Tab than anything. Now, I'm not exactly sure. I'm looking right now to see how big the screen is, but I believe it is a seven inch. Uh, if I'm correct, then if I'm not correct. Uh, yeah, it is a 7 inch, which is quite nice. They also announced a new camcorder that will be released also, which is the H. MXT10, which has a tilt lens, it looks really, really nice. I am looking forward into getting a new camcorder, so that's why I, I say this because they have been announcing new camcorders, new cameras, new TVs and monitors, and also a new line of netbooks and notebooks. So, if you guys are interested, I'll leave the posts in the description of the video for those who want to check it out. And that's basically it that I wanted to talk about today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week, which is Monday. Peace.